Hi there, Kawa here, and wow, what a week we actually got. Uh, I was <laughs> so amazed that I actually had to show up and do a second part to my video so we could touch in on uh, how great some of these deals are. So, the main reason why these deals are just so amazing is because they did the one thing I did not expect them to do. They put Gamariki inside the Fukumaru deal. So, for the cost of 20k, uh, get yeah, 20k coupon slash ingot spending, uh, it'll give you a free Gamariki, which is the best summon in game, hands down. There's no arguing it. It, it is the best one because it reaches. It lowers the resistances of uh, three people by 20% every time it chases. It replaces your King of Hell instantly. And for those people who don't even have the King of Hell yet, just get Gamariki. <laughs> you don't need King of Hell anymore. Gamariki just replaces him. And um, along with Gamariki, to give you a free Conan, uh, it's the Kimono one. It's nothing amazing. It's really just a, a collector item. But hey, it's free. Who's complaining? Um, and the other thing that they did that I did not expect is they actually put Naruto here into the wheel along with um, KSM here and you know we got these usual power items and uh, they were really really generous at least on the first day uh, giving out this Edo Tensei uh, Utakata frags uh, I did 500 spins as you clearly can see and these are my results. I have 76 frags of Edo Ukitaka, even though I recruited him already, so uh, he's about to be uh, four stars for me. And it gave me 26 seal scrolls, uh, 64 summons, and uh, 100, I mean, 1,378 stars. So that really translates out to 37 Naruto frags. So if your RNG is a little better than mine, you could probably get 40 of them. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the main talking points I really need to specify on. So, uh, for 20k coupons, if you have it, uh, or ingots, obviously, uh, you can do a thousand spins on the wheel, and it should roughly put you in range for the Naruto. You're probably off by maybe five, six, or seven frags at most, um, and you can pick him up. He's not the best unit. But he's not the worst either. I just like, you know, making fun of him because everyone likes to overhype him because he does not deserve this ridiculous hype. I do have to say, though, that if you don't have Kage Summit Madara, I would ignore this Naruto and pick up the Kage Summit Madara instead. The Madara is more flexible and more usable in different uh, scenarios because I don't feel that. Naruto outscales Conan in damage in any way, and it'll probably be better to pick up this Madara if you already have like Conan as an attacker. You don't need this Naruto. Um, and Conan is one of the better attackers in my opinion, at least for the free-to-play players. Uh, but hey, if you don't have uh, Naruto and you do already have like the Conan and stuff, you could just pick him up if you want to. The other option is uh, you pick up this Madara. Uh, it'll leave you with some leftover points so that you should probably pick up these power options. The Mount Miyaboku, pick up all of them. And if you have any leftover, you can always pick up the Charm Pack. Uh, and for those people who already have like a decent attacker and they don't really care for the uh, Kage Summit Madara, you can always pick up all these uh, charm materials and lucky stars and uh, then proceed to go to the other event. Right... Oh, where'd he go? Oh, right here. Um, and you can pick up uh, Summer Sakura. She's a really good unit. Um, one of the best healers in the game because she is the one healer that does not need to be able to heal to do it because she summons the, she summons the Katsuya slugs that do it for her. So CCing her is just not enough. Um, and you get these free uh, Maomi Boku grass for free so you don't even have to bother doing it. It takes uh, four days of just doing the event for free and you get all 100. So you could pick a Sakura here if you don't have her. Uh, she works pretty decently with Kage Summit Madara. I don't hate the they uh, chase against each other. Like one would chase to knock down, but she chases the repulse to high. So 
eh, they don't help each other in that scenario, but she's really, really good, and sometimes you don't really care about the chase that much if you don't, if you can avoid it, because her heal just outranks that chase. Like, I understand that the chase makes it so she can heal more often, but sometimes it's just not necessary. Or, you know, you can just complement it with a uh, summon. It, you can always just use, like, a Rhino to make it work. And, uh... So for those other people who still don't want those and have other cho want other choices to spend, this is another spot that you could spend on. Um, you can pick up some cave keys. There's packs around here, right here. Um, it's a little pricey at a thousand, but hey, if you really want to um, hit the Fukumaru rebate and there's nothing really that's enticing you, uh, you can pick up all the power inside the star event and then come here and pick up uh, some more power here for the cave rebate. I won't suggest anyone to do the faithful choice. The faithful choice is just nothing here. Just get the free um, events revised. That's what I'm doing. I'm just like not bothering with that event. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, if you do not have the ingots yet, today will not be the date of recharge unless, you got, uh, unless you've already been recharging for Sasuke. Uh, you should wait for when the Shinobi Feast wheel links up with the red envelopes and so that you have a double rebate for recharging. So hold off if you have to. Uh, Fukumaru is here for the whole week. Just wait it out. And for those people who do not have the 20k, I'm very sorry because you maybe you were spending for some reason and you weren't saving for Fukumaru. But I have to, the best advice I can give you is don't spend unless you can hit the 20k for Fukumaru. Because if you're like, oh, I got like 10k, can I spend? It's like, you really shouldn't unless there's something you really, really can pick up and you really want. Like, oh, I'm short like maybe some frags for KSM or maybe I'm short a few frags for the Naruto that you really want. Or maybe the Sakura, then yeah, I guess you could spend, but I really don't suggest it. Because you really want this Gamariki and if you can't... If you spend now and then Gamariki releases again in another event, you are not going to have coupons for it. Even though this is obviously the best time to pick a Gamariki because you're going to get a ton of uh, stuff. Uh, as for you already can see so, uh, on my wheel, I already got 26 seal scrolls. So ideally I'm going to get about 50, I want to say, in total because I got to do another 500 tomorrow to hit the rebate. And I'm going to get this... Uh, this Edo Tensei Bubble Boy here over to my four star. Um, people who don't have him will probably get him easily to, for free. Um, well, it's kind of free, it's not really free. Um, yeah, so these events is great. Uh, avoid buying the battle armor, f just don't, just don't do it. <laughs> Though you should be leveling it, um, uh, and doing the rebate. And picking up uh, these free threads. And if you don't have enough to go level it up, it doesn't matter. Just wait it out. You'll collect it for free over time. It's, it's one of those things that just doesn't give too much power. Uh, goldfish, whatever, this event sucks. Don't don't even bother with it. It's like, just pick up these unbound runes, I guess, for free power. Because if you're getting Gamariki, you're going to need them. Seeing you have to cultivate Gamariki. Um... I believe that's everything to talk about, and yeah, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew that this week is an amazing week, and it, where they should be focusing their attention. There's really three options. You could pick up the Naruto, or you can pick up the Kagesama Madara, which I would suggest because he is more versatile, or the alternative option is you could pick up the power options in the wheel, then move on to pick up something else. But if you do have the coupons and ingots to spare, I would suggest you pick up some of this power options. If you really want the Naruto, I guess. If not, just pick up the power options. And if you don't have KSM, pick up KSM first. Ignore the Shisui. He's completely worthless. Um, yeah, and that should be it. Just make sure you do the full Fukumaru deal. If you can't, don't bother because then you're just wasting coupons. And uh, that's it.